Well, I'm here with Linda Smith from Bourneside School, and you've brought uh, 21 Year 12 students today. And you're a bit of a veteran, of course, because this is your fourth race to school day. Yes, we usually get involved with uh, a maths challenge. So we bring the younger students, and they have a maths day, which they absolutely adore, uh, because they get to wear all the jockey outfits, and they go and, and, and learn quite a lot of weights and measures and things like that. So it's really good for their maths. And the older pupils today are a business studies group, aren't they? And what we've been doing is we've been listening to employees at Cheltenham Racecourse. I think that was really, they found that very valuable, I think. Oh, definitely, because they can see the value of this as a business for the first time ever, because we've never discussed it really in the classroom. I was waiting for this opportunity to get them out and realise, you know, what, what it, this is a massive business. The amount of revenue it brings into the local economy is brilliant. And, and some of the things they'll learn here, do you, do you think in some ways, because it won't be long before they're making their own career choices and college and various things, is this the sort of event you think that can maybe inspire some, some thoughts along those lines? Oh yeah, definitely, because um, at the end of the day, it is a business, it does create massive amount of jobs, and you know, some of these students would love to go into hospitality, management, and why not? And Bourneside School is not far from Cheltenham, and you have a great association with the race course. You feel very fortunate, you know, our best national hunt track, arguably our best race course in the country, is, is very much on your doorstep. Oh, definitely. We, we're just at the end of uh, Cheltenham, near the M5, so we're not too far away. And, of course, a lot of our students' uh, parents will be coming up here as regular visitors. And the, the children are only just getting uh, their, you know, their adolescence. They're only just getting to that point that they want to, uh, you know, experience anything that goes on in Cheltenham, so great venue. And what about the, the work experience? We were listening earlier to, to the head of the whole operation in terms of the, the, the catering side of it, and a lot of the work opportunities, hopefully some of those will trickle down to the school, you know, the older pupils in the school in due course. Yeah, some of them have already been up here to work part-time during the, usually the festival, yes. um, because they, they love the atmosphere, so they tend to work in the bars and the, the food outlets, etc., because they're 18. But this will now filter down to the current year 12s that are brought today, and they will see opportunities. I, I've just met with one of our ex-students actually and she's, um, we, we arranged for her to do an apprenticeship uh, with Newmarket Excellent. Stables and she went and worked, uh, did her work experience at the stable as well and she's just informed me she's just got a job as well working in the stable, well-known stable. Excellent, well that, that's what we like to see yeah, and, and so we, never we look forward to your, your fifth trip of course. Yes of course that'll be next year again and uh, perhaps we'll, well probably two trips next year, the year eights will come up with a maths challenge again and then we'll do another business one because it's been great today because we've been looking at marketing and of course it's a big part of the syllabus so it's great for them and great for them to see other avenues for jobs for the future and not only that they need these skills you know the business world want people with lots of skills you don't get them in the classroom until you do team activities and coming out and seeing a business in real life is a wonderful experience excellent